As predicted, the BMW developed quite a few problems while sitting, uh, just was making some weird noises, felt like something was loose in the front end, and then it started breaking up, so we're back in the Mustang today. Uh, a couple quick notes about being in Florida. Um, it doesn't help that my alarm didn't go off and I woke up at like 11, but um, one of the things that I just appreciate a lot about being away is how much slower paced life is. We're down here, everything's so go, 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 that uh, by the first hour that I was awake, I already had a to-do list that was probably like three days worth of stuff to do. So that's always really discouraging. Um, and the fact that there's so much traffic and everything's so busy that I have to like game plan my morning to make sure that I can get food and coffee without wasting two hours sitting in line. Um, so I really take advantage of all the little traffic shortcuts I can take and all of the little online ordering stuff I can do. So that's, that's where I'm at. I never thought I'd say this, that Corolla is beautiful. I don't know if that's a new model or something. It looks so cool. <laughs> what? All right, so I can tell you guys about this one. I definitely have a problem with getting too many cars. So there's another car that just arrived that technically is mine, but let me let me explain to you, all right? Just, ah. So I had to get the truck and trailer down here so I could bring the R32 up north and I didn't want to bring it empty. So guess what we got inside of here? Oh boy. What did I do? <laughs> Look at Big Mama. That's her name. All right, guys, so you can tell. We'll give her a quick little walk around. She has been in a wreck. This is a salvage title, rebuilt title, I should say, 370Z. I picked it up off a friend of mine up north. And I figured it'll probably come in handy either for friends that are in town that want a car to drive around or drift at events, or I could probably sell it and make a little bit of money on it. I don't know. I might trade it for something, but um, I thought I'd show you real quick while we unloaded it. It was a good deal, and uh, you know, I don't know. Probably won't end up keeping it, but it's pretty rad. It's got like 150,000 miles on it, runs strong, it's already got a welded diff. Sounds healthy. She's just got a little smush smush up front and some air blag deployment. This she sounds smooth, huh? A little dirty, but she's actually like pretty clean. I don't really see any leaks or anything. So here's my dumb decision of the day. It's got a little airbag deployment in there. Honestly, I, I kind of want to keep it, but like I kind of don't. I don't know what I should do. What do you think, Shulman? Do you want it? No. I have it. I'll trade you for your S13. Crazy. It's Scott AC, I think. I got Jay Z, you don't. Today has been filled with lots of meetings and lots of catching up since, you know, I've been gone for like two months and there's a whole business that runs here that usually needs me, but uh, the guys have been doing a great job. We're just kind of touching base on a lot of stuff moving forward, but now I'm going to go out to the shop and start dialing in some stuff on the R32. Alberto spent some time rewiring a couple things today, threw a blanket on the turbo and got the dash all working, but one thing that I want to dial in is the serial nine shifter, uh, needs a little adjusting. You kind of have to play with them a little bit to get like all the lockouts and everything perfect, so I'm just gonna pull that apart. I would have liked to uh, put a head unit in it, but I was like, ah, I don't have time for that, but the hole was driving me nuts. So we've got some ABS now, we're gonna start making splitters out of ABS. Tight, right? It's being cheap. I haven't gotten to it yet. So, um, I cut like a little piece and I, I made like a little delete panel. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna double side adhesive that for the time being. Just a right radio on it so you can see it's radio. That would be kind of funny. So I thought about using a glossy side, but I think we came to agreement that that would yeah, be tackier. Yeah. Even if I put like some vinyl over it or something mm -mm. cool, I think I like just the clean yeah. ABS look. That looks really good. I'm gonna do that. Do it. Goodbye. Okay, Definitely missed this thing. If it wasn't so hot out, I'd probably be driving around. I just don't wanna risk getting stranded driving one of the older cars around because it's so hot. I was trying to fiddle around with this and change around the digital display trying to mess with some tuning stuff, but um, just having a lot of issues. I guess my charger to my computer got lost. And I can't figure out how to get Alberta's computer to connect, so kind of a wasted night here at the shop, and I'm definitely a little bit bummed, but I don't know. I guess it is what it is sometimes. Did my best, and I'm trying my best to try to get this thing a little more sorted, but I guess I got tomorrow to work on it a bit too. Just feels like I've got nothing done today. That's what happens when I do all the dumb meetings and stuff. I have a perfectly capable coffee maker. I've just been really extra lazy lately. And I like getting drinks with my friends. Big Boost, wanted a frappuccino. The music sounded really loud, so I got to talk loud over it. All right, we're going back to the shop. Uh, yesterday, didn't really get that much done, so I just decided we'll continue the video into today, and then maybe try to make two videos today. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's really We're going to go to the shop, and hopefully that ends. Yeah. First step of today was dialing in the dash. 
Got it set up just like the S15. It's a gauge layout that I'm accustomed to, so I'll kind of know what to look for and everything. Um, I just made sure everything's working. So, got that done, now we're gonna throw it up in the air and do a quick bolt check. One thing I forgot to tell you guys yesterday that Alberta was geeking out about. You wanna show them, see if they'll, uh, if they'll realize themselves? All right, so we're looking at this cool drive shaft. So smooth and all. No, there's no bumps in it. <laughs> so, I ended up asking, um, Pro broker said, hey, you guys balance the drive shaft? Because normally you, you, you gotta make sure that you have a balanced drive shaft, not it will fall apart. And it's like, yeah, it's balanced. I go, man, this is, this was welded so good that it required no weights to balance it. It's crazy. It's impressive. So you can see the, the weights of the other one over there. Yeah. Two. So usually you'll have these little things or like washers and stuff to help balance it, but that's sick, isn't it? Right. So the front of the car definitely needs some Himes replaced. Uh, there's a little bit of play in them right now, but I made the executive call to actually wait and do that after this event, uh, just because I don't want to overcomplicate things and I have to spend a bunch of time on that when the tune still isn't dialed in. So I'd rather get the tune good and then know that I can just change those after the event, dial in the alignment and get it good. But right now I'm more concerned about the motor. Like I know what the car does angle-wise and I know what we need to fix and what it'll feel like once we fix those. Um, it's just a little sketchy right now driving on the road. I can feel it a little bit sway under braking and um, the wheel shakes a little bit, but uh, I think uh, we'll probably change those after. I just did some street tuning with Jamie. Unfortunately, the laptop died, so it's not perfect, perfect yet, but I thought I would close out this video here. I know uh, it's probably a little bit on the shorter side, which I'm sorry about. Uh, I just, uh, I thought I'd bring it into today just to get a little more content, but um, she rips. Uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do you a total injustice me and Pat are gonna go for a quick rip real quick And I'll show you guys kind of where she's at around the 500 horsepower mark with the uh, fixed voltage and everything um, Still a little bit weird stuff going on with throttle response But Jamie's gonna get that all dialed in and just waiting for the laptop to charge So we're gonna go get some Indian food and then we'll resume into tomorrow when we're going drifting So you guys can see how the new setup responds on track. Pat, have you ever been in this thing? I don't think I have. It's pretty tight. Got a casual reminder on that dash. I don't know if you guys can see that. It does not say go slower, that's for sure. Got my cool little uh, cool little panel. She's a cruiser. So the shifter um, might still need some adjusting. I was having a hard time changing gears at higher RPM, so I think the clutch might be part of the shoe. I don't know, but it's kind of weird. All right, as we wait for traffic, um, I just thought I would give you guys a massive thank you. I'm not stalling or anything by any means. I just I just wanted to really, from the bottom of my heart, just tell you guys how much it means to me. I don't know if I would pull out in front of that big truck. Probably would have been a bad idea. Probably would have stalled. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll give her a good old rip rooney Then we and Pat are gonna go get some Indian food and just chill. <laughs> uh, we'll give her a good old one, two. I'm not that good at shifting fast with them yet. Oh my god. I don't know why the, the shifting, like... Something weird is going on. It shouldn't affect us for drifting, but I'll probably figure that out tomorrow or something. It's weird, it's like it loads up and it doesn't want to go into gear. Maybe the whole entire everything is twisting and it's it's preventing it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's a CD and CDs usually like being shifted at a higher RPM. So stay tuned. Uh, probably won't figure it out tomorrow, but the next day. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.